This is a Citroen Ami, and it's a bit like a 17-year-old Jaguar S-Type V8. Now bear with me. You see, I know that the Ami is a little electric car, which if you're in France, you can drive from the age of 14. But just like that old Jaguar, they both cost around five and a half thousand pounds. See, it's the same. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to review the little Ami, and to do that, I'm going to talk you around the exterior, the interior. I'm going to take it for a drive. I'm going to launch it from naught to some miles an hour, and I'm going to do a brake test and try to drift it. Now, if you want to see some more strange car reviews, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way, you won't miss a single upload. Anyway, I'm Matt Watson. And you're watching Car Wow. Buying a new car? Then head to Car Wow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. Car Wow, your one stop car buying comparison site. Right, let's start off this video review by talking about the design of the AMI here at what I think is the back, because it looks a bit like the front. In fact, the whole car looks a bit like a child's toy. It seems to be built from similar flimsy material as a child's toy as well. It's also <laughs> like just moving by leaning on it. Anyway, let's move on to the wheels, 14 inches in diameter. Though they are steel wheels with some plastic trims over the top. Not sure about that reflector, it's just been stuck on. Though I like this bit, look, an air bump, like you get on Citroen's bigger, proper cars. Now, check out this door. Look, it opens backwards like an old Fiat 500. And in fact, you've got some retro style little circular door mirrors. Moving to the front, at least I think it is the front. Yes, it is, because the lights are clear here, whereas at the back, they're red for the brake lights. But the body panel is identical. Reason is, that allows Citroen to save money on building this car because it doesn't have to design a different front and a different back. It also makes it cheaper to insure because the parts just cost less, so you can just whack on a front onto the back and the back onto the front, just change the lights. Get it? Also, it's a mirror image left to right, because if you come around here, you'll see this door actually opens that way, because it's flipped. Funny, funny little thing. What do you reckon to the look of the Citroen Ami? Do you like it? Can you drive something like this? Wouldn't you want to be seen dead in it? <laughs> it's not, look, it's still going. Now let's talk about performance because obviously that isn't what the Ami is about at all. Anyhow, you've got an eight horsepower electric motor, drives the front wheels via a single speed gearbox. You've also got a 5.5 kilowatt hour battery pack, which you can charge from empty to full using a normal three pin socket in just three hours. And that'll give you a range of 45 miles. But what you want to know is how quick this thing is. Well, let's launch it and time it from naught to 25 miles an hour. <laughs> I should put the handbrake on really. Okay, let's see how quick this little Citroen Ami is over the eighth of a mile and the quarter mile to do that. I've got my specialist timing gear here. Here we go. I think this launch is going to be brutal. Let's do this. It wasn't. So naught to 25 miles an hour is 7.38 seconds. I think we've hit a limiter at 27.8 miles an hour. Come on, where's the eighth of a mile? Eighth of a mile in 19.33 seconds. Bear with me while we complete the standing quarter mile. Don't click out the video. Almost there. Oh my God, this thing did a quarter of a mile in just 35.53 seconds. That is a record for the slowest car I've ever launched on CarWow. To see the quickest car I've ever launched on CarWow, click on the pop-out banner up there to watch my in-depth video review of the Rimac Nevera. That was boring. With such incredible performance, you're gonna need some pretty beefy brakes, and that's exactly what the AMI hasn't got. At the front, you've got disc brakes at least, and they fit inside these 14-inch wheels with a few inches to spare either side, so they're probably about 10 inches in diameter. At the back, you've got drum brakes. This is a brake test from, well, whatever the top speed is. Now I'm going to do a brake test from 25 miles an hour, also known as 45 kilometers an hour, and see how long it takes this little Ami to stop. I wonder if it has ABS. 
that will be a no. <laughs> oh, tires. Oh, it stopped from 25 miles an hour in seven meters. Oh, not too bad. Bravo, mon ami. Sorry, French people. Now let's talk about this car's incredible chassis. So it's made out of a steel box section. Also, you've got McPherson strut suspension at the front, trailing arm at the rear. The rear suspension is actually fully independent. And it looks like there's coilovers as well, springs and dampers. That rear suspension is actually more sophisticated than that on a normal Citroen C4, because that has a simple torsion beam rear suspension. I think we'd better put this car's handling to the test right now. Time to assess the dynamic capabilities of this little Citroen Ami. It's French. French are famous for doing brilliant hot hatches. No, it's not a hatchback, but it's French. It's got half of it right. We're going up a hill. We're losing a bit of speed. I'm going to chuck it into this corner and lift off the accelerator, see if I can get some lift off oversteer. We're going to have these bumps. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, you feel the bumps. Yeah, you feel the bumps. Oh, 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 oh. It's a white knuckle ride. Imagine being 14 and French and just getting to hoon this thing around. I wish I hadn't slowed down because yeah, you want to keep your momentum up in this thing judge where the hills are because you need to make the most of the decline so you can get up the inclines otherwise you may as well be walking here we go here we go here comes the decline let the fun recommence oh it automatically starts to break i was hoping that when you're going down a hill you could just roll and go faster but no it automatically limits your top speed and it will use engine br motor braking to slow you down if you start to go down a steep incline so you can never go faster than that limited top speed. I guess this car isn't about, you know, hooning it round a twisty road. It's just for people to get from A to B very cheaply and when they're too young to drive a proper car. Now let's look a bit in depth at the interior of the Ami. So because you've got all this glass, it's a little bit like you're in a greenhouse, which isn't great on a hot day like today because I'm absolutely sweating buckets and there's no air conditioning. All you've got is a fan, which makes quite a racket, but actually doesn't blow that hard. I suppose you can open a window, but look, look how the window opens. Look, it's like an old 2CV. Hmm. <laughs> so you can get a bit sweaty in here. Yeah. There are a few things I do like though, like these practical additions on the dash so there's a cup holder there look there's a little cubby just here which is full of dead insects this area here for pens this oh and look you can hang a bag off there door bins are massive though absolutely huge the seats aren't too uncomfortable either considering there's not much to them now you can't move the passenger seat at all and you can't recline the driver's seat but you can move it forwards and backwards We've got some tech in here. Look, there's a place for your mobile phone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have to bring your own tech, actually. Look, will it fit? It kind of fits my silly big Samsung Fold. Yeah, it sort of fits. Speaking of which, there's space for a Bluetooth speaker there because there's no stereo in this car. There is a USB input there for charging your mobile phone. And looky here, a digital driver's display, though the display I think was actually made back in the 1990s. Looks very blocky, like an old digital watch. Check this out though. A car like this should have an appropriate sounding horn. That is the right horn for a car like this. There's fabric door pulls, like in a Porsche 911 GT3. In terms of putting the car in gear, there's nothing up here. Your gear selector's down here. You've got drive, neutral, and reverse. Select whatever you want. Use the accelerator, and off you go. Tell you what though, this steering wheel, it's its the ugliest steering wheel I've seen in any car of here. And there's certainly no airbag in this. In fact, because this isn't actually a proper car, it's a quadricycle, it doesn't have to reach the same kind of safety standards. And that brings me on to five annoying things about the Citroen Ami. The orange storage solutions on the dash really reflect badly in the windscreen. It's, it's quite annoying, isn't it? There's no ratchet mechanism in the door hinge, so it constantly swings open or shut depending on which way the slope you're parked on is going. Ah. There's only one windscreen wiper, 
So while it will clear water from the driver's side in torrential rain, it never actually clears from the passenger side. So if you're the passenger, you don't get a great view looking forward. There's no central locking on this car. You have to use a key. No. Oh, actually, that's, that's the wrong key. You see, you have one key for the door and one key for the ignition. It's like being back in the 1980s. The Ami doesn't have a rear view mirror. And because the side mirrors are rather small, if you really want to see behind you, you have to just turn around and look over your shoulder. A little bit like if you're on a motorbike. It's not all negative though. Here's five good things about this car. You know how in most electric cars, you carry the charging cable in a bag in the boot and it eats into your luggage space? Well, there's actually a little space for the charging cable in the Ami. Get it from out of there, plug it into the wall. Then you just put the cable back in there when you're done. The Citroen Ami has a turning circle of just 7.2 metres. By comparison, the turning circle of a London black cab is 7.6 metres. As a result, this Ami is super manoeuvrable and if you want to, you can use it as a little merry-go-round. You might think that in such a small little box as this, there'd be no room to store luggage. Not true. See that sign down there? It's because that area is dedicated to be able to hold a suitcase. Stay in it can. In France, which is the only place the Ami is sold at the moment, not only can you drive it from the age of 14, you can actually hire one for 25p per minute. Now, by comparison, a line bike is 15p per minute, but obviously the Ami can seat two, so two line bikes will be 30p a minute. So this is cheaper to rent per person than a line bike. And obviously if it's raining, it's much more pleasurable to use to get from A to B. Check it out, a manual handbrake, which is perfect if you're a French teenager who wants to be the next Sebastian Loeb, because it means, oh yeah plenty of handbrake turn practice. Do you know what? I haven't actually tested this car in the environment that it's designed for. So now I am going to drive it in town. Now, the speed limit's not such an issue. 28 mile an hour top speed, 30 mile an hour legal limit in a UK town and in places in London it's 20, so more than enough. Do you know what? I fancy a quick drinky. I don't know if I can pop in here. People are looking at me like I'm driving something a bit odd. Hello? Do I have my car? <laughs> I don't think he does like it anyway. Let's get out of here. Let's see how it handles a roundabout. Right, which way do I want to go? No, not this way. Ah, oh, look at this tight turning circle. Whee! Right, that's enough of that. Don't want to get squished by the truck. Where to next? It's going to be interesting to see what it's like fitting into a parking space. So there's a little shopping area there. Let's go in here. It should be easy to squeeze it into a slot. Ooh, speed up, a bit interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be simple. Look. Hey! Easy peasy. Now, I wonder. Reversing out should be easy. In fact, that gives me an idea. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I mean, it's so short this car that you can actually drive it like this. Whee! People probably aren't aware that I am going backwards because the back is the same as the front. This is perfectly normal, people. Nothing to see here. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Whee! Right, I've had enough of going backwards. Let's go forwards again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right, I think I'm done with the Ami. I'll just find somewhere to park it and maybe this is the ideal place. Yeah, that's perfect. That'll do. Just leave it in here. I wonder if I can get out. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
So then what's my final verdict on the Citroen Ami? Should you avoid it? Should you consider it? Should you shortlist it? Or should you just go right ahead and buy it? Well, if you're 14 years old and you live in France and you want an EV that's cheap, go right ahead and buy the Ami. For everyone else though, avoid it and just get a 17 year old Jaguar S-Type V8 instead. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Also, let me know if any other videos you'd like me to do in the comments below. If you click there, you can watch some more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can actually sign up to the Car Wow newsletter, where we'll keep you up to date of all the latest news and reviews from the car world in between these video uploads. So just click on that, sign up, it's completely free. And of course, you can cancel anytime you want to. Thanks for watching, see you next time.